needing to connect up some electric to a switch that I'm converting to an outlet. But it's going to give me a chance to show some things. Now, don't do this stuff that I'm doing. If you're making junctions and things, it needs to be in a box. This berry rated wire is a little difficult to strip because the jacket is actually around each piece or each conductor. So what I do is snip it there. I do this with thermostat wire too. I just snip it right in the middle and yeah, that's going to damage the ends, but you're going to strip those off anyway. So then I'm grabbing that either using my fingers or using another tool. It can kind of be a cutting tool. It's better to have pliers. But as long as you're gripping and not biting too much. Now these ends are damaged, so we're gonna, you know, get the ground out of there. And it's all gonna get cut off, so it's okay. You see that? Yeah, I don't agree with that right there. See how I've done this? I learned this from one of my electrician buddies. So you're gonna wrap it until you get wraps in the actual wire, and then you're gonna cut it at a diagonal. And what that does is allow this sharp tip of this conductor to go in the furthest part of the cone. And so the cone is actually grabbing this first and tightening it around the other one. And you're always going clockwise and everything, right? Good old silicone grease here. I'm filling these wire nuts up and this is basically what I what I think outdoor wire nuts are. Ooh, that's hard to do through a screen. Ah, nice. Now, I could have left less stripped on there. Always, always face your wire nuts up because one, if they get loose, they stay on instead of fall off. This is especially important on vibrating equipment and and it makes them like shed water. Now, is this to code? No, <laughs> no fucking way. This is considered a hack job, but is it gonna outlast the deck? Absolutely gonna outlast the deck. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out. I'm gonna take this out and throw in an outburst. Yeah, you got power. Sweet. I've used a lot of stuff in a wet environment and your feet happen to be wet. This could save your life. 